It's time to feed the beast. Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Feed the Beast with me, Dare Tebbers. And me, Nacentia. How are you doing, Nacentia? I'm wonderful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun over here in the machine shop all by myself. Yeah, you're all by yourself. I tried to burn down the tree, but the tree won't burn. Which, everyone told me, burn the tree, burn the... Look, I tried to burn the tree. All I did was set myself on fire and burn, like, a piece of the tree. And then a ghost attacked me. I got ghosts all over the place. Um, I am, <laughs> I am still here because I am on the hunt for Ferris, Ferris what? Ferrisor. Ferrisor. And I and it looks from what I can figure that um, this is something that I'm only going to find here in the uh, twilight or a chunk that loaded later on. So I am spending my time playing around here in the twilight well the sentia gets to hog all the fun and do cool things <laughs> like uh making conduit that's not what i would consider to be incredibly fun but that's well, what i'm actually doing at the moment is it, making some more conduit it's less dangerous I, i'll give you that yes i am quite death prone <laughs> Yeah, Stocko was making fun of me because I I've died more than he has. Now let's. I don't even know what this stuff look. I mean, not silver. That's the one piece of ferrous ore that I found. Was that? So it looks sort of like weak tea or something. Yeah, or I mean, if you happen to run across like you know just nickel of any kind that's that's really what we're after is the nickel but it comes out of ferrosaur so it'll either be nickel or ferrosaur well it's it's ferrous ore or nickel ingots or nickel dust sometimes out in the twilight in like the hedge mazes i've actually found nickel ingots out there um yeah i'm not going in a hedge maze do i look crazy you've got armor no well yes what's that oh i know what that is I've only I don't have the chest piece though, so it's not nearly as as good as it could be. What's that? What is what kind of what's this? Ow! 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 What is going on? Ow! 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 What the heck was that? I just got atta attacked by something. Was it mosquitoes? Yes. Are those prevalent? Uh, in the swamps and the stuff, yes, they are. So what's they poison you? Um, yeah, I, they gave me hunger. I have galena ore. You know, I still don't know what that's for. <laughs> hmm. I you you can't smelt it. You can't pull. I mean, I think you probably have to centrifuge it. I've just never taken the time to uh, find out. There's a lot of um, wildlife stuck on the cliff sides here. So I, I guess it's probably worth, uh, you know, anybody who's watching from my perspective, it's probably worth pointing out that uh, I'm just making redstone conduit. Uh, you craft the conduit in the table, then you have to make molten redstone in the crucible, put it in like a transposer, it fills it up. Just like last time. All right. Um, hmm. So this is there like a? Do you know if there's a certain level at which the? I'm sure there probably is, but I do not know what it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> I guess I can go look at the wiki real fast. Oh, that's okay. I'll, I'll I'm gonna go down in the dark here, and I have to find some torches. I thought I had some. Where is that? Oh, right there. That wood that causes that creates torches. Oh, the torch berries? No, well, that's not what I really meant. the The wood that makes sticks is what I really meant to say, but I said torches instead. Um, ah. There, there. I got attacked by freaking mosquitoes. That's just not right. Yeah, you should try living in Texas. I'd rather not. 
I hate the chiggers in Texas more than anything. <gasps> Leprechaun, worm, what did you thing, thing? It's dead. Why are the leprechauns purple? Is that is that what I'm looking for? No, that is iron ore. I should have known that. And this is gold. You'd think I'd never gone mining before. Um, torch. Sterling uh, engines. We might have to use Sterling engines to start this, because good grief. One step ahead of you. I'm already using Sterling engines to. Uh, <laughs> Fine. Be that way. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? I may actually be able to uh, create a redstone power cell. Do you want me to wait for you? Or uh, yeah. go ahead and get started on that? Um, yeah, wait on me so I can see what it looks like. I'm checking out our quarry. We really need a void pipe. Y'all were right. Yes, we really do need a void pipe. Well, at the moment, all I'm doing is just making more conduit, trying to keep the machines powered, and it's really just a lot of rinse and repeat. Um... I'm concerned about the quarry because when when I came to the quarry oh I bet you half of the stuff is in a different chunk because when I came to the quarry there was a bunch of stuff that was just strewn all over the place and I bet you it was all because it was a different chunk of course it is of course you know what we're gonna turn the quarry off until we get a void pipe Look at this mess we've created, people. Look at this mess. It's all Stocko's fault because he wanted to put this here. <laughs> I I'm, I still don't entirely understand why Stocko was obsessed with putting the um, quarry in the twilight. Um, well, we've now put it on a hollow hill, which I'm not really sure what the significance fully is of that. He I think I do. He claims that there's a bunch of goodies in there. So far, all we've managed to do is um, cause a massive destruction in the landscape. <clears throat> Very well, then. All right, then. I, I think his logic for wanting to put it on a hollow hill is because those hollow hills are usually the layers of hydras, and uh, as, as a result, they have lots of goodies. They, they have really rich mineral deposits inside them. But that's only above the surface, not so much below ground. So there's not a whole lot of point in having a quarry there. You could just mine it out by hand and be done with it. You said hydras or hydros? Hydras. The, 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 the dragon thing, you said three-headed ones. Right. Just making sure I heard right. I just cringed when I said that. <laughs> Why? I described a hydra as a three-headed dragon thing, and the D&D &D player in me just cringed. <laughs> <laughs> See, I've, I've never seen one, but uh, especially not a Minecraft one, but... They look pretty cool. See, I'm, I'm so old school when, when I played games where I was attacked by hydras, it was an all-text-based uh, online game, so... They just looked like derpy elves to me, just because everything looked like a derpy elf to me. Is that back in the days of Groove? <sighs> back in the day of what? Groove. Groove? You are likely to be eaten by a Groove? No. Okay. <laughs> Guess we're not going there. No. I, I, have, I do not know of what you speak. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know the you know, you know the comments on this are going to go crazy, right? Um, maybe I don't know. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! I think some people are going to educate you what a grew is. Is that a good thing? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fun. Uh. Okay, so. So, so when you say text-based games, I mean, how far back are we talking? Um, 
Ever heard of uh, Xyle Text Adventure? That that one, I, I don't think so. Um, it came on a um, cartridge to plug into the IBM PC Junior. Wow. So we're, we're talking the early 80s. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, like King's Quest. Ah, uh, yes. You mean like the King's Quest one that's on my channel? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was just I was just thinking I like King's Quest. I remember playing that when I was younger, the original. Yeah, I started King's Quest with King's Quest Four. I am just running around in circles in the machine shop right now, by the way. <laughs> well, I'm I'm seventy two meters from the portal. <laughs> I'm trying, it's just Stacko made us go way out in the middle of nowhere. Make sure I don't die on landing there. All right, we can take that now and turn the magma crucible off for a few minutes. This way. Yes, I'm going to start King's Quest 2 soon. It's just been languishing. And I heard there was a remake of King's Quest, or it, or is that King's Quest 2? Well, Sierra made King's Quest one through eight, so there oh, is yeah. a there is a remake out there. But I, I heard like a bunch of fans had actually redone uh, redone King's Quest recently, like here, like maybe it's like 2010 or something, and they had redone it and done some more voice acting for it and stuff. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. You know, nothing will beat the death of the king in King's Quest one. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Dying like a cockroach. <laughs> All right, I made it back with one piece of ferrous ore, I think. Well, that's you are my hero. Ore. Is this with your ore? one piece of ore. There, one piece of ore. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, is, do you think this looks okay? Yeah, Does that looks work? fine with me. All right. So all of the stuff up here, I don't want to put anything wrong, so let me get that out of my hand. So we have the magma crucible liquid transposer. Now they were stacked before. Oh, you changed the input output? Mm-hmm. Okay. I just changed the face that they go to. Okay, that makes sense. And then this is the induction smelter and the pulverizer, and then a place for our lumber mill or whatever. Uh, I will, you said to plan on having the powered furnace. So ah, that's right. Right. Okay. And then what are we going to do with the rest of these toys? Um, I figure I'll just take the redstone conduit and continue down this wall and we'll just put the machines on top of it. Hmm. Does that work? Well, given that they, the only reason they were spaced out was to put in the, um, it, put in the engines, but we don't need to do that anymore because... Nope. Now this provides all of that. Ah. Yeah, we can take those down once we get some magmatic stuff, but we right. need a lot more ferrous. Yeah, well, I turned the quarry off because of chunk loading problems, so... I'm thinking what we might do is, instead of running down this wall where where the grating is, mm -hmm. maybe we should run it down this wall here. Oh, yeah, that sounds... yeah, we can do that, too. How many engine, How many things do we have? We've got one carpenter... One squeezer, one centrifuge, Actually, one rolling machine, two carpenters. Actually, you had two carpenters. <laughs> I don't know why we had two carpenters. <laughs> I probably built one by accident. So we don't need to put both carpenters back. So we really just have one, two, three, four, five things that need to go on the wall. One... Oh, but that'll make it hard to get back here. Well, see what you can do is... Um, do I have... Okay, I'm just going to use... What you can do is if you put... Where I'm putting the cobblestone, if you put the conduit along right there. Right. And then you put one row of machines below it, one row of machines above it. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Let's do that. Put the crystallizer over there. So how much do we... Do you have more conduit? Uh, no, I'm making some oh. uh, slowly. Where? 
uh, down the crafting table, the project oh. table down here. Uh, I'm going to grab eight more pieces and see I have the recipe just stored there. Ah, yes. And so I just got to go up here, put these pieces in the liquid transposer and charge them with redstone. Stocko and his stuff. Okay. And that's so, pretty much just what I've been doing while you were off in the twilight. Yeah, well, uh, you know, better than what I was doing. <laughs> Let's do this and the rolling machine. We're going to have a lot of extra room up here all of a sudden. Efficiency. So, centrifuge, I'll put the centrifuge up there with the squeezer. Logic would say put the rolling machine. Now the rolling machine, can it just go there? Sure. Okay. I wasn't sure because some of these machines, some machines, you know, you can only put in one way. It's going to look a little funny having the, <clears throat> the, the, the conduit on top, but it's not going to mess it up in How any way. How is that different than anything else in this entire place? <laughs> <laughs> that and then we'll just put Let's see here there. I'll just go ahead and lay our groundwork there cool put that there all right so then everything will get power and as long as we don't have the recipe in the thermoionic fabricator it's not going to draw power right correct okay it, it is it well as far as I understand. And it's not so much the recipe, it's when you put glass in that one spot and it's supposed to melt the glass. Okay. It's so we can... Yeah. Okay, so we just have to be careful. It tries to, and I'm doing finger quotes here, it tries to keep the glass warm. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I see it doing things. I got one. Yay, I did something. <laughs> All right, so that, wow, that was, and um, are you going to fix our nether rack um, roof? Um, well, I, I that, that, that was really uh, a labor of love between you and Sako there. I, I didn't want to just go up there and, and wreck everything. I didn't have anything to do with this factory. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because we all know Stocko shouldn't be trusted with fire. I don't know if anyone's seen the movie Wreck-It Ralph, but I'm a wreck-it. Hey. What? Hey. I like that movie. It was, well, I don't know. The movies, I, I don't go to very many movies, so. Because I, I find them often very, uh. It's like they, they re repurpose all the old tropes over and over and over again. Well, I've, I've sort of given up on, on, on trying to be surprised. Uh, but, but, I mean, there's nothing necessarily wrong with redoing the old tropes as long as you do them in new and creative ways. When was, what was the last movie that did an old trope in a new and creative way? Um, you know what? I'm pretty sure if I thought hard enough I could answer that. But <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, I have no idea. Uh-huh. I'm going to stick this netherrack here, and I'm just going to hide it because I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> That's a good idea. Just put it in the recycler. Just dust it under the rug. Yes, exactly. We only need one more piece, and then we have to build the, the thingy that stores the power. Yes, and that's actually going to require a lot of redstone and a lot of power. But... So how, thinking about this, it doesn't work like an inline battery. The redstone power cell? Yeah. Yes, it does. Okay. So so I'm presuming you're going to stick it on the end of this spur sticking out? Uh, I can't, well, I was going to run the engines uh, this direction. Oh, okay. Uh, that way we can do them laterally and put the engines in a line. And then we can we can put the cell, the, the battery can go pretty much anywhere as long as it has, you know, pipe going out of it. I might as well just liquefy this entire stack of redstone because we're going to need all of it to make that cell. So then the cell... So 
We could we could then put the cell just back in that back area back there. Um. Well, yes. Though I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put conduit coming out the other side of it, so that one side of it isn't input, the other side of it's output. Oh, so we could just put it in line, like right. We could break this down and just stick it back there, and then put it back. We could actually put it right there. Mm, well, how would we put it there? Because there's two. We would need two outputs. No. Not necessarily. Um, we have it input on the side and output on the top, and it will output to this line right here. Right. And uh, it'll feed power to everything nearby it. But what about because these machines? I thought we were going to move. Oh. Mm, I'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was thinking that the place to put it would be right back there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Just forever. So, you can all right, I'm going to go get started making the frame for the Yay! battery. We still I got the need those engines, piece. unless you just want to make a whole lot of Sterling engines. <laughs> oh, wait. Right for the moment. Is that a bad thing? Is it bad that this one thing has two power things in it? Actually, yes, it kind of is. Oh. All right, that, the, <laughs> this part's not so bad that it has two inputs going into it, but we don't want power going to these machines right now. I'm trying to get power over here. Okay. Because <laughs> I only have two Sterling engines to work from. Right. Do you, have, do you have any more Sterling engines just chilling out somewhere? Um, Pete and Paul and Ewan and Zachary and Joshua and crap. What's that other guy's name? The gang of the gang of Goombas over here, which are all depowered currently. So, yes. Could I borrow? Yes, you can. That'll, that'll really help speed this up. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, so then we'll just leave you, uh, we'll leave Pete and Paul alone so that they can continue to generate peat derp. I need to grab some peat so we can fuel those sterlings. Wee! So now I'll just plug these guys in, just randomly right now. Yep. Uh, Except for I well, screwed need that up. We levers to turn them on. I got one. Lever. <laughs> well, that one's all screwed up. <laughs> um, I have one lever as well. <laughs> A lot of help. You know I what? Love French. You know what? Can we do this? Uh, do you have redstone on you? Uh, I put it all in the magma crucible. <laughs> Let's take some of that. Let's do this. Problem solving. Is that good, everybody? Um. No. Nope. It doesn't actually turn them on. Oh, I bet you this is directional, so... Not like that. Ha ha ha, yes, it is directional. Stupid thing. If you um, had some red alloy wire. Yeah. Well, you know you can make some real fast. You have an alloy furnace, you have some red redstone, and... We might actually have some. <laughs> Alright, so I think... Um, boy, we're just, we're just cooking with um, peat. Ha <laughs> ha. Just groan. Just go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all heard that. She's she's trying not to laugh at me. Um Hey, we're making progress. We are making some sort of progress. I can't laugh at progress. I have four pieces of red alloy wire. And that probably is more than enough. Probably. I still have so a now I just need to smelt down the rest of this redstone. And I'm probably going to need more redstone. And we need to make the frame for the battery. So I'll get started on the frame. Um, 
Why do you hate? Why do you hate, you stupid little... Oh wait, now that one's working. Wait a minute. What is going on here? There and there. So those ones are working. Alright, I'm gonna go borrow a diamond. Just well, one? I'm not really gonna borrow it because I'm not gonna give it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so those guys are working, but that one is not. So we can fix that by breaking that putting that there. Will that do it? Is there even any fuel in here? There's not even any fuel in here. No wonder. <coughs> Jeez. Probably was going to work the whole time, but there was no fuel. There. <laughs> God. Yay, we have power. So much power. We're like the Power Rangers, only not. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make our... Our... Uh, uh, the, the frame, the thing. Yes, the thing, the frame <laughs> All thing. Alright, so, you watching? Yes. Alright, let's see. We've got Electrum and our hardened glass, and that gives us our frame. Alright. And then we're going to take that, <clears throat> and we're going to have to charge the frame. But the rest of it is going to be a conductance coil. Just that right there. Okay. Put that, and then i got to check my recipe. Lead. Okay. I have a couple pieces of lead. And then electrum. So now all we have to do is just charge the frame. And then we'll put the charged frame in the middle, and it will give us our cell. All right. And then we charge the frame by putting it in the, the liquid li transposer, li just like uh, just like yeah. making redstone conduit. Only it takes. Oh, I left it in the table. <laughs> <sighs> we also. Hey, I said I'd stocko it up. We we also need um, more redstone apparently. I have some. Okay. Good. Yeah, it takes like, I think it takes like 20 pieces of redstone to fill one of these, so. I think I left my redstone in the table, too. Dope. I'm, I'm doing awesome. So then it goes there, and then it's not going to actually fill until it has enough to fill. Yeah. So, it'll take a few minutes to uh, get the redstone melted down. Okay. Well, that's probably a good time to stop it. We'll stop this episode here. And uh, we'll start. We'll come back when we have a full energy cell frame fuel thingamajiggy. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> all right. So thank you all for watching. If you haven't checked out uh, Nascentia and Das Tubbers playing their Let's Play, you need to head over to Nascentia's channel and Das's channel. I'll put links down below yes, to, to check out it. their uh, check out their Let's Play. I I happen to know that there was a lot of derp involved. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time, when the Sentia helps us finally get some decent power in this factory, uh, it's Ben Dare Tebbers. And the Sentia. Bye. <laughs> bye bye.